This problem is called leaping armadillos. So it says armadillos leap straight into the air when frightened. And this is uh, true. I don't know what kind of defense mechanism it is, but it's not great uh, because armadillos are nocturnal. And so when they're crossing the road at night, rather than scurrying out of the way, they like to jump straight up uh, either into the grill or the undercarriage of a passing truck. Um, armadillos, I've tried to draw here, uh, you know, in some like Texas scrubland or something, uh, but I read that with global warming, uh, their habitat is extending north and they may even come to Indiana in the next 10 to 15 years. Okay, so uh, here we have the armadillo when first frightened, so it's on the ground, and then I'll draw it at its second place, right, because as we focus our problem, we know that there's always two um, points that are connected by our kinematic equations. So let's start. Uh, we know that there's seven different things that we have to place here. So at each point, we need to label the time. Right, so the time um, of the starting point almost always is zero. Um, and the time up here, this is given as 0 0.200 seconds. Okay. Um, now, our displacement, well, we need to define that. Right? So we need to define our positive value, and then um, we can call our zero, our origin, at the ground level. That makes sense. Right, so that means that our x naught is going to be zero here. Our x at this position is given as 0 0.544 meters. Okay, uh, then to complete this, we can say, well, what's its initial velocity? That's a question mark, and that is uh, what's being asked in the problem, so I'll put that in a box, right? That's our target variable. And then for completeness, we will say, well, what's the velocity uh, when it gets up here? That's a question mark, and um, I'll put that in a dotted box. That's a don't know, don't care. It's not asked for in the problem. We may or may not need to find it um, in order to get, actually get to our target. Okay, so that's six things, and the seventh thing is the acceleration, which uh, applies to both uh, points. And so I'll put that over here somewhere in between. And our acceleration is the acceleration due to gravity. Right? Uh, the, once the armadillo has left the ground, um, it is moving only under the influence of gravity. And our, acceler so our acceleration is g, but it points down. And I like to put, put that little arrow there so I can say, well, if the arrow for acceleration points down, but my positive arrow points up, that means that my acceleration has a value of negative g. Okay, so I'll need, need that when I plug into my kinematic equations. Okay, so um, I look at my target variable and I say uh, v naught. Well, let's let's uh, just for uh, practice, let's write down our kinematic equations, our two main ones. So I've got v is equal to v naught plus a t, and then I've got x is equal to x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. And I can say, well, okay, v naught appears in both of these equations. So which one should I use? Well, the equation for velocity, that one uh, looks a little bit nicer to work with, right? It doesn't have any squared values or anything in it. So maybe I'll try that. So I'll look, okay, do I know um, v naught? Well, no, that's what I'm looking for. But I also don't know v, right? That's my don't know, don't care variable. That means I can't use that equation right away. If there's two unknowns in it that I don't know, I can't, uh, can't solve that algebraic equation. So that means that I have to use the um, kinematic equation for displacement, or at least start there. Okay, so uh, let's, let's look at that. Do I know x is at the final position? Yes. Do I know the starting position? Do I know um, the initial velocity? No, but that's my target. Uh, do I know the time? Yes. Do I know the acceleration? Yes. And this time, you know, it's important to remember and point out that these two times, um, they're the same time. Right? Whenever you're doing a kinematic equation, especially the one with, uh, for position, uh, the, you, the time appears in two places, but it's the same time. Okay, so I know everything except for v naught. Uh, so that means that I can use this equation uh, to solve. So let's start by copying that down. Okay, so I want to get v naught by itself. So the first thing to do uh, algebraically is to um, get that term that involves v naught on its own. So I'm going to subtract x naught from both sides. I'm trying to get everything else to the left side. So I've got x minus x naught is equal to v naught t plus one half a t squared. Okay, and now uh, I still got that one half a t squared term there. So I'm going to subtract that from both sides. And that gives me um, x minus x naught minus one half a t squared is equal to v naught t. Okay, so now I've got all the terms moved to the other side, but I've still got this t multiplying uh, what my unknown is, or yeah, what I'm trying to solve for. So I need to divide both sides by t. Now, when you divide uh, both sides of an equation by t, uh, especially here on the left side where there are multiple terms, it means you need to divide every term by t. Important to, to keep in mind. Important, uh, that's a key algebra mistake that I see people make. Okay, so uh, that gives me finally v is equal to x minus x naught minus one half a t squared divided by t. Okay, so now uh, I have everything that I know isolated on one side, so I can plug in the known value, so that's going to give me... You know, a lot of times I like to um, 
if there's something that's equal to zero, rather than copying it down, I just cross it out. Um, so I, I don't have to deal with it. So, okay, I've got 0 0.544 meters minus 1 half times, okay, so remember I said A was equal to negative G, right? So that means I put a negative number there, negative 9.8 meters per second squared times my T squared, that's a 0 0.2 seconds quantity squared, right? And I know that there's extra zeros there for the significant figures, but I just couldn't fit them. So uh, as far as value is concerned, it's, it's all the same. Okay, and then I'm dividing by T, so I need to divide by 0 0.2 um, seconds. So if you plug in those values, you'll get V0 is equal to 3.7 meters per second. So that's the velocity of the armadillo when it first leaves the ground. Uh, that was our target value. So now for practice, I suggest that you calculate uh, what is the velocity uh, V, uh, the other velocity in the problem. So that's the velocity that happens at time T equals 0 0.2 seconds. And from that value, you'll be able to tell, um, is the armadillo still on its way up if the velocity is positive? Is the armadillo at its maximum height if the velocity is equal to zero? Or is the armadillo... All ready on its way back down, which is if the velocity is negative. 